Throughout history, millions of refugees have benefited from refugee rights and international support. Many owe their lives to the system of international protection. It was after World War II that countries from all over the world agreed to grant fundamental rights to refugees. These rights were established in the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees. So what rights does this convention provide? One of its most important principles is that people cannot be sent back to their country of origin if this puts them at risk because of conflict or persecution. This principle is known as non refoulement. Once they have crossed a border, refugees have the right to remain in safety in another country. This right includes more than just physical safety. Refugees should receive at least the same rights and basic help as any other foreigner who is a legal resident. These rights include freedom of thought, of movement, and freedom from torture and degrading treatment. The Refugee Convention also grants refugees social and economic rights in the host country. These include the right to work and to access education, the right to provide for themselves and their families, as well as the right to access health services. Some will be able to return home if the situation in their country becomes safe again. Those who cannot return remain. They can integrate in their host countries and try to get on with their lives. They learn the language, go to school, get a job, and in some cases, they will even become citizens of their host country. Depending on their situation, some refugees may be transferred from a first country of asylum to another country in a process called resettlement. Resettled refugees go through a very rigorous selection process involving UNHCR and the receiving country.